Brent Stover alongside Aaron Taylor as the 10 finalists begin their first event at Kasani Sabola Cultural Village, one of the most brutal undertakings in strength athletics, the frame carry. The strong men need to carry a pair of steel girders across a 30-meter course. The 825-pound weight will be like having a piano in each hand, so obviously grip strength is a factor. Five of the ten athletes make their way to the start line. Here we go. He won. Ready? Event one. World's strongest man final. This is an event that requires strength, balance, and mental toughness. And Shawley in lane two looking really good early. Yes, yes. Kieliuszkowski's right on his heels, though. Transition yes. so important that grip strength being a huge factor here. How about Kieliuszkowski? He's going to cross the finish line and win this sucker. He wins heat one. And nobody else is close. Ooh, Shale in lane two. Maybe coming up Gimpy a little bit, grabbing that left leg as we see Martinez leads us in the near lane. Really giving a great effort. The more these athletes drop this frame, the harder it is to keep going because you have to expend so much energy to get it across. But Leetzis digs deep and finds a way. He sees second in the heat, and now Shale is going to come off the course. Something clearly wrong with his there left leg guys. as we see Belshack frustrated with his performance. The winner of Heat 1 in the frame carry from Poland. Give so Kieliuszkowski wins the first Heat in the frame carry, crossing in 17.69. Charley looked good early, but after the turn, this unforgiving weight may just have slammed the door shut on another title run for the Brit. It's that left calf. Twice he's had to pull out of World's Strongest Man in the qualifying rounds of 2013, as well as last year. Now heat two of the frame carry. Remember, the frame carry is about grip strength, so keep an eye on Eddie Hall in that far lane, nursing a hand injury, dislocated fingers early in the competition. And he's sliding the frame. You can't do that. Brian Shaw looking really good in lane one at the turn. Neck and neck with Shemansky. Keep your eye on the young puck, the Georgian Bull in lane four. Slow and steady may win this race. Yes, both Shaw and Shemansky have to drop the frame. And Janashi is going to win the heat. Brian Shaw comes across in second. You see Eddie Hall in that far lane. The ref has told him he must stop because he was pushing it earlier. And he's got those dislocated fingers. So we'll see what happens with that. Meantime, Shemansky in a real battle. He's in a battle with lane two with half Thor Bjornsson. Remember, you have to get the whole frame across the line. And half Thor just edging out Shemansky. Yes. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of so heat Shaw two, settles Brock for second Georgia, in the heat. Konstantin Janashia takes the heat and finishes second overall in the frame carry, 22-82. You see Hathor with just sheer determination to edge out Shemansky, but it was the Georgian Bull with that great effort and those big traps that wins this heat. And Lawrence Chalet must withdraw from the competition for the third time ah. in the last four years. It's the first time he's had to do it in the final.